Good morning, guys. My name is Derek. I am actually making this at five o'clock in the morning. I couldn't sleep, so I decided, hey, I'm going to make a video. Um, we all know that you know we've talked about Dreamcast Guy quite a bit, and this isn't going to be one of those bashing Dreamcast Guy videos. Uh, you know, I really, really don't like doing that, but you know, I had to. I had a couple things I wanted to say. Um, I've noticed lately that. All the videos um, hasn't been doing too well. My, I mean, usually, usually I think I get maybe thirty views per video. Uh, lately, it's in the single digits, and um, I want to rectify that. I'm thinking about starting a brand new channel, just starting over from scratch, um, and just you know see what happens there. I've been doing this as off and on since 2010. Um, and I want to do it right this time. Um, now, that doesn't mean the bits and pieces will be completely gone. It just means it won't be my main focus. There's 700 some, almost 800 videos on the Bits and Pieces channel. And nothing's really stuck. There's a few hidden gems there. there but I want to do something different, something better. Uh, Rebrand. Um, just start over. That's what I plan on doing. But before we start over, I do want to go ahead and make a video. Um, this is in regards to Dreamcast Guy's new video about are games too hard, basically, or they, you know, why can't they be an easy mode? Um, lately, we had a, a couple new games that came out. Um, Elden Ring and Sifu. I haven't played Sifu yet, but I've been playing Elden Ring. Now, my history with the Soulsborne games it's pretty rough um you know i i've played some of them i've never beat a souls born game never i love i like playing them uh, don't get me wrong they're great and they're polished but i suck at them um you know and i you know i don't put in the effort really to do it until i started playing elden ring um <laughs> and you know, I've been doing things on Elden Ring I've never been able to do before in a Souls game. I'm beating bosses, and, you know, I feel like this game's more approachable so far. You know, I've beat a lot of bosses. I, I've been going to all these secret areas, uh, taking down, like, the Tree Sentinel. Uh, you know, it took me a while to figure him out. But I, I finally figured, kind of figured it out. And, you know, I might get aggravated here soon. Because, you know, I haven't even touched the main storyline. I've been playing for 20 hours and not touched the main storyline, really. It's all been exploration and finding new things to kill. Um, you know, I you know I played Bloodborne when it came out. And I never made it past, really, the first hunter. Um, he turns into a werewolf, basically. I never made it past that. I actually had a friend help me get past that, and then I took over. But for me, I never did it right in the first place. I was able to kill the big boss on the bridge, but not that guy. And I always just quit at that point. I get so frustrated. I'm like, man, fuck this game. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, I've got Demon Souls remake on PlayStation. And I played Demon Souls when it first came out. Same problem. You know, I've, I've tried Dark Souls same problem i just never could get it and then you know there's this big mentality that you know get good and i've never been able to get good basically not until recently playing elden ring now one of the things people are asking for and some people have a problem with it mainly gatekeepers you know gaming is for everyone but not every game is made for everyone what I mean by that, notoriously, the Souls games are really hard. The Souls, Bloodborne, Sekiro, and there's a lot of games coming out that emphasize difficulty. And like I said, I mentioned Sifu earlier. I haven't played it, but I hear it's rough. Now, you're starting to see like a bunch of reviewers and stuff like that ask for an easy mode. Even community members, like just gamers in general, asking for easy modes for these games. But you have these people, these people that gatekeep so hard, 
like other people want to enjoy these games, but they can't just due to the fact they're just too hard and are asking for an easy mode. And I don't think that's wrong to ask, honestly. I don't think that's a bad thing to ask. Um, I know these games were designed with difficulty in mind. Um, and that's the whole, you know, thing for it. It's satisfying taking down a boss you've been killed by a by hundred times. It's satisfying. You just figure it out. But I can also see having easy modes. I, you know, I play a lot of my games on easy. I'm not going to lie to you. You know, I, you know, I like the story. I'm not really there for a challenge unless I'm playing like Halo. You know, I do my legendary runs or Gears of War. I do the insane runs. Um, but I never really liked, you know, I always just played on easy or normal. Um, cause I want to have fun. I want to have fun. And then, yeah, there's some hand holding, but I don't want to be frustrated the whole time I'm playing the game. And, you know, I don't think that's unfair to ask for an easy mode. I know I'm probably going to get ratioed to oblivion, but you know, I would love there to be an easy option on those, the born game, the born and souls and Sakuro. Cause I, you know, I, I would like to play through them. Uh, the, they're interesting, really interesting. And, you know, <laughs> I, I'm a, I'm somebody that can't handle stress very well, but like I said, I've been playing, uh, Elden Ring nonstop 20 hours. I've never sunk that much time into, you know, that type of game. Now, like I said, I, I, I played Bloodborne. I'll, I'll get myself playing Bloodborne and I always get to that one spot and I'll stop and I'll try a thousand times to kill the guy and nothing happens. I'm just not that good enough. But I think, at, you know, as I play Elden Ring, I think, you know, I'm starting to get it. I'm starting to realize death is just a part of the game. It's not, it, it's a feature more than it is anything. You're supposed to die. You die, you try again. You die, you try again. You study the enemy and you keep going. And... Yeah, I guess it bothers me, like, that people are pissed off that people are wanting an easy mode. I, I see, I don't think that's unreasonable. You know, I, and I, like I said, I could be getting ratioed to death. You know, I, I think that's a good thing. You know, it just means more people want to play these games uh, to get more out of it. I would be for that. I, I would be absolutely for that. Honestly, I think that'd be a great idea. Might not ever happen, um, but it's possible. I, you know, I don't know. I just, I just guess it's something that doesn't bother me. I, I'm not going to gatekeep, and that's a lot. There's a lot of gatekeeping in those games. You know, it's, 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 it's a toxic crowd, basically toxic as fuck like it's like oh man i'd be dark souls 10 times with just a naked person and a stick or a fish sandwich you know those kind of guys it's like, you can't play our games you don't get it you will never get it you you know <laughs> it's bad it's really bad i think it is but guys i just want to see what you guys think do you think there should be easy modes in these games like is that wrong to ask? Uh, let me know what modes you guys play on um, on your games. I like to hear that. And again, I'm going to start rebranding, uh, starting a new channel. I'll probably do a video about that and kind of let you guys know what we're doing. Um, you know, I hate to I hate to leave the bits and pieces thing because it's been doing off and on for years. Um, you know, I built a, a little brand even though. There's no movement on it, but I want to try something again. Maybe I can, maybe I can figure it out. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. And I'll see you soon.